Well, now to a story that was very close to home for a Tucson doctor, a woman who lost the sight in one of her eyes. But today, Victoria Morris underwent a special surgery to remove cancer from her eye that the Ukraine native says was triggered by an historical event. News 4's Ed Tribble shares her story. Victoria Morris is getting prepped for surgery. I'm very excited because that's going to be the end of one of my life chapters. The tumor in her right eye is too big to treat. It could kill her if doctors don't remove it. Every time I think about it, I still get scared. Victoria's story goes back to an April day in 1986. She lived in the town near Chernobyl. I could actually see and feel the radiation, you know, and the spectral layers of the atmosphere. Even though there's been no proven medical link that her tumor was caused by the nuclear meltdown, you can do the math. Usually it's in patients over the age of 60, and it's the youngest patient we've seen in our practice at age 26. The problem is the surgery costs tens of thousands of dollars. Victoria doesn't have medical insurance. But after hearing her story, Dr. Cameron Javid decided to do the surgery for free. The staff at St. Joseph's heard about it and donated their time, the operating room, and supplies. I am from Ukraine myself. And I remember the input of the Chernobyl catastrophe. One of the staffers who's donating his time lived in the same town in Ukraine. Just my duty. Dr. Javid is replacing Victoria's eye with a piece of coral. In two months, after the blood vessels and muscle become attached, Victoria will get a $3,000 glass eye, also donated. It's custom painted to match her other eye in color and little blood vessels and everything. As for Victoria, she has a vision for the future. She's a photographer, and having lived through what's bad in the world, she'll learn to capture all that's good in the world with one eye. I hope Chernobyl will never happen again, because that's going to affect a lot of kids and their parents, you know, and it's just something that just shouldn't be there. With Balanced News in Tucson, Ed Tribble, News 4. Wow, uh, a good teamwork, and you know, had they not yeah. done the surgery, she could have died, so. Doctors donated their time, you know, yeah. Just, yeah the collective effort, the they just talked about it and did it. Oh, nice, yeah. and she's so optimistic, yeah. you know she's going to do well. So yeah, she will. Best to all. Still